just when you thought your day really sucked. You suck. Here comes something to make it suck even more. It's a Lamont and Tonelli podcast. Sully, uh, yeah. one of my favorite uh, hmm. guests is uh, our good friend. I'm even going to pronounce his name correctly here yes. because every well, time okay. I get him on the air, <laughs> I pronounce his name incorrectly just to just to throw a little barb in <laughs> to get him going. But we have Christopher Titus on the line. Chris, uh, Christopher, how you doing? Wow, very nice and weird. Usually it's Christitis. So weird. I don't even know how to react. respond to you. I feel like I've made you mad. No, no, uh, absolutely not. <laughs> hey, uh, we haven't talked to you in a while, and I wanted to get you on the air for a couple of reasons today. First okay. Off. I understand yesterday was your birthday. Yesterday was my birthday. See? Yes, I, 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 turned, I turned effing old yesterday. <laughs> See, we keep uh, we keep track of you here. And I said, hey, yeah. it's, Chris, it's Titus's birthday. Yeah, let's give him a little happy birthday sure. call. So oh, thanks, guys. So well, now, what did it. what did you do for your birthday? Um, I hung out with my uh, thirteen uh, year younger supermodel uh, <laughs> wife, and uh, that's right, I had chocolate cake. That's right, and, and you got you got married too. Uh, but I got married, dude. I got married again, and I've never been happier. You know, it's weird. Oh. I thought it was me. Turns out, if you marry someone who's who's got uh, a psychotic behavior, your marriage could go sideways. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, like my, it's such a weird. Here's the thing. So we're hanging out. We're hanging out for the wedding. We took all the guys out, and all the guys in her family. Yeah. One of them's um, a marine colonel. One of them's uh, a marine major. Yeah. One of them's a border patrol captain. Uh, yeah. uh, her mother. There's a PhD. I'm sitting in the room full of people. I realize, wow, in this group of people, I'm the loser. <laughs> and by the way, that, I feel like that all the time anyway, so it was fine. So so uh, it was it was a good reception, was it? Yeah, man, we had a great wedding, and uh, and no, there was no uh, no cops, which is always good for the wedding. <laughs> Um, we had no police presence, and uh, and you know, for me, with my last relationship, that's always an upside. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now before we move on to uh, something else, I want to talk about. Uh, you didn't invite the ex-wife to your wedding, did you? No. Oh yeah, she was invited. <laughs> <laughs> she was. You invited her. That's weird. Huh. If you look at it, it's like the girl that I married is 13 years younger. She's got yeah. two college degrees. She's everything my ex wasn't, and it's just it's got to be a raging nightmare for her. So I won. You know, at the end of the day, I won. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, hey, you uh, you are on a winning track because uh, I want to talk to you about your uh, Comedy uh, Central uh, show coming up on uh, Saturday. I believe, right? Uh, yes, Saturday, 10 o'clock on Comedy Central. Here's the deal. So I t- started my own production company called Combustion Films, and we yep. actually took it out, and we shot it in Fresno, of all places. Because wow. I figured this, cent- <laughs> the Central California Valley doesn't have any, uh, any, gets any love, you know? Right. So we shot it out there, and I'm all proud, and we shot it together, and we sent it to Comedy Central, and they watched it, and they're like, it's great. We love this. We're going to buy it. So after I put it online, and we sold, uh, we sold a bunch of them, and then they sold it to Comedy Central, and I'm so happy. I think it's over. Then they gave the thing to edit it to one of the the tech guys. You know those guys, the guys that know how many weapons are on Batman's tool belt? Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, they basically call me and tell me I'm basically like, what did you film this on a steam camera? Like, it's like they just start ripping on me. So, um, no matter what I do, it seems I find a way to uh, screw it up. So there you go. That's so, so, so they're airing it. Um, you're going to have to watch it. It's basically like a, this comedy special is the only one done with uh, flip pictures. So that'll be on Saturday. Nice. So Saturday, I'm looking forward to it. Now, I understand, Sully, give me a little fanfare here. Okay. And by the way, uh, yeah. Uh, Titus, we have uh, Sammy the Psychic in the studio. Okay. And uh, and we're going to... ask some questions? Well, sure, sure, absolutely. But before we do that, I just want to make a major announcement because we have the fanfare going here. Mm-hmm. You, uh, you have a uh, big, big movie project coming up. Is that right? We, yeah, okay, you're, so you're ready. So yeah. we, uh, I finished the script with a new thing called Special Unit. Now, if you guys know, we did a pilot for Comedy Central a long time ago called Special Unit, which is basically the S.H.I.E.L.D., with handicapped people. Right. It's like uh, Lethal Weapon meets the Special Olympics. Right. Much. Exactly. Exactly. So, so we're going to do that movie, and we got Josh Blue just signed on to play it. He got one uh, last comic standing. He's got cerebral palsy. Yeah. Michael Arone and Brad Williams. We got everybody, all the, so basically the whole story is, um, due to the Fairness and Disability Act, the LAPD has to hire four handicapped undercover detectives. Right. And, and, and I'm their training officer, and I'm a retard, pretty much. <laughs> so, so these guys are all, you know, they, anyway, so the, the reason I, we did this movie is because, A, it's, it's too funny and too wrong, but right. the other side is that 
disabled actors don't get a lot of work. And so you're actually you. hiring, you're hiring disabled actors for this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all disabled actors, and uh, and they're all funny. Like Brad Williams is a comic. He, he's a midget or little person. I don't know. Sully, what do you guys like to be called? <laughs> <laughs> hey, could you get Michael J. Fox for this movie? <laughs> You know, I thought it would be funny if he would do the villain. We'll see how we get him. So what we're doing is... We're, we're, it would be great to have Michael J. Fox as the villain. Yeah, um, exactly. Um, so what we're going to do is go to Fund... In, uh, as of Friday, you'll go to a, a, a website called fundanything.com. And basically yeah. what we're doing is we're funding it. We're crowdsourcing it because it's my new company, Combustion Films. And I promise we will get real cameras this time when we film it as opposed to my <laughs> comedy special. Yes, absolutely. And the but, deal is, if you fund this movie... Uh, it's a, kind of like an investment because there's big money to be made if it's a hit movie, right? Yeah, well, you know, here's the thing. The one thing that I find is everybody makes an independent film. It seems to be everyone wants to show what an artist they are. I yeah. want to show how funny we are. I mean, right. I, look, I'll, all we want to do is make a balls out, laugh out loud movie, yeah. and you're going to be in it. You're going to be, you know, we're going to get, you know, we get it financed, you're in it. You, yes, you've been, absolutely. You've been, bitching, you've been bitching to me about being in this movie for like three years. When I now. heard what this movie is, I said, oh, I've got to be part of this. <laughs> this sounds fantastic. <laughs> What do you think your disability should be? Uh, you know what? You make it up for me. Uh, Sammy, <laughs> is this going to be a big show for Titus? And uh, uh, am I going to end up in his movie or am I going to end up on the cutting room floor? Am I supposed to answer this on? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, what, Sammy, Here we what's go. The you have Sammy, a sequel what? in mind that you've already been thinking about. Uh -huh. And yes. it looks like the sequel is the one that is going to just... Skyrocket. Right. This one here is what I call get your foot in the door. Right. But the sequel is going to be absolutely on the floor hysterical. Right. Mm. Good. So right. He, Good. he's got some big success coming up. What do you oh, see huge, for what, what do you huge. see for tit Titus here? Um actually it looks like uh, you should be in contract uh, negotiations right now on your other career as a stand up. Uh, it looks like that that goes uh, very well. Uh, it also looks like that, ooh, bad news. Uh, you're going to be news. separated from your wife for a while. God oh! love you. You're oh! going to be on the road for... Uh, uh, oh, that's what you mean. Oh, yeah, okay, touring. separated because oh, of distance. Okay. All right, right. okay. And yeah. so... Uh, I thought that he was going to cry on the like. air for us. But it does yeah, I can't, look, afford, yeah. I can't afford another one. I was no, 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 no. no, but it does look like she is going to be able to make time in her schedule to be able to meet up with you while you are um, nice. on the circuit, if you will. Okay. Very but nice. uh, a lot of... You're you're finally going to uh, break that barrier and make it, you know? Yeah, uh, go great. Oh, you're great. So yeah. it's having the TV show and having all you know all the stand-up specials, I guess. Uh, good. Uh, that's just the beginning. That's great. This is, so uh, yeah. maybe, uh, um, am I ever going to fight George Clooney? <laughs> um, not and when. <laughs> hey, not and when. <laughs> hey, so Titus, so the deal yeah. is if people want to finance your movie, because uh, I'm thinking of throwing some money into this. Well, here's the thing. Yeah. There's some great gifts. There's some great gifts. You go online. Yeah. There's some great stuff. Like if you put in so much money, you know, you get that. You get it. One of my DVDs. You put in so much money, you get like these special limited edition T-shirts. Right. And there's all these gifts. You go to fundanything.com as of Friday. It's not up yet. It'll be up on Friday. Well, and uh, and we'll start. Now I'll call you back next week and, and to whore it one more time. Okay. okay. And what what I'm gonna do though is I'll put a link up on my web page because there that way that way if anyone they could just click on through and and. Uh, uh, just just take advantage of you and take everything out of your prize closet. <laughs> there you go. Very nice. <laughs> All right. The great so Saturday, Titus. So Saturday, 10 p.m., voice in my head. And, yes. guys, I really appreciate the help, man. Anytime. Happy birthday to you. Man, thanks, guys. Get ready. Right. Right. It's going to really take off. It's going to so take off for him. All right. Great, great stuff. News. See, that is good news for Titus. Very good. He's a real good dude. He's he's one of the uh, the guys that over the years you've developed a uh, we've developed a real friendship with. Like, mm -hmm. I would... I'm surprised I didn't get an invite to his wedding. <laughs> I'll bring that up to him next time I've got him on the air. Another fine product from Uranus. That concludes the Lamont and Tonelli podcast. To hear more and everything Lamont and Tonelli, check out the website at lntworld.com.